Today we're talking about the FaZe Clan and the video that FaZe Rain dropped on FaZe. The last couple of years, Rain has been in a feud with them alongside of battling his own problems, which were mainly substance and depression related. FaZe Clan, for the few of you guys who don't know, has now become a global brand that's even on the stock market. Although if you did invest when they went live on the stock market, you would be down roughly 85%. But they became massive off of Call of Duty trick shotting and pretty much were the ones who brought the most attention to this genre. Originally, it was founded by these guys, but most people refer to the original members as Rain, Temper, Banks, Adapt, Blaziken, and Apex as they were the original people in the FaZe New York house. And this is where FaZe arguably made their best content. That's where they gained their cult following that propelled them all the way to where they are today. But I do believe that FaZe was one of those YouTube entities that was ruined by their own success. It seems like money, fame, and ego drove these guys into making a bunch of narrow-minded decisions, which at the end of the day made them unrelatable. And I feel like the beginning of the end of that was their involvement with CSGO Gambling. In my opinion, if it wasn't for CSGO Gambling, FaZe wouldn't have been the esports titan that it is today. From what I've heard, allegedly, it was the CSGO gambling money that paid for the G2 lineup they bought back in 2016. And for those of you guys who aren't super into esports, essentially the top shooter esport is a game called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. FaZe really put themselves on the map in Counter-Strike when they bought the previous pro team that was owned by G2. And this is all the way back in 2016. And why am I bringing this up? Well, because FaZe Rain actually mentioned this in this video that he uploaded a couple days ago. This video is titled Dear FaZe Clan. So I'm making this video so I at least can explain some things before I go into detail for detail. I know a lot of people are saying, you're milking this, you're milking this, just tell us already, just tell us already. This is a decade long problem, man, with a lot of legal around that. So now it's turned into multiple problems. It's not just the initial problem I had in the beginning. It's a lot deeper than that. And yes, I'm going to say this now because they're probably going to try to say, well, he's only doing this because we owe him money and he's mad. It's, they do owe me money. Yes. And they haven't taken care of me. Yes. And the money that I bought the Counter-Strike team for, it took him six years to pay me back. Yes. I never got a dollar or brand deal. Yes. That's all. They're going to say that. And that is a frustration of mine, but I obviously held that in for years. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot to unpack here. Did Rain front the money for the CSGO team? Because I remember hearing that they got the discount of a lifetime from that team due to the situation that current G2 team was going through. And obviously this isn't confirmed to my knowledge, but I've heard they got their money for that team from CSGO Wild. But if Rain is claiming he bought the team, that makes things pretty interesting. Did he buy it with the sponsor money that he got from gambling? Is that where that whole thing came from? And there was also a little text bit in there that said, and won't pay it unless I sign an NDA to never speak on what they do. Yeah, this is probably going to turn into a lawsuit. Then he said he never got a dollar or a brand deal. So what about all the CSGO Wild videos he did back in the day. Was that not through FaZe Clan? I held that frustration for years and it was never the reason that I was going to do this or speak publicly because if they just owed me money, I would have handled it a different way. This is a lot deeper than that and a lot of my brothers don't see the actual issue here. They are being taken advantage of. I have to be careful with what I say. So it's yes, I did get over, but that's not it. And what made me think about it is like, dude, if I'm one of the biggest shareholders, I'm one of the founders, I'm one of the main people of this brand and they're going to me over like who else won't they do that to and when i said like it's easier to sit back and take the money i didn't make one it's not what i mean but i do have shares that are worth money right now imagine this guy just sold like three to four months ago my question though is like why does he still hold these shares if he hates the organization so much another interesting thing i thought about this video was the description because the description says i know my intentions are pure and i'm doing it for the greater good i see every industry in a chokehold contractually by these boomers i don't want the same to happen with this community they don't care about you they care about what you can and bring them. I understand that's business, but FaZe was a family before a business and everyone has turned their back. Yeah, that's what happens when you literally sell out. You literally lose control of the company. It's now in the public market's hands and whoever's on the board right now, and the board is going to want to squeeze as much profit out of the company as possible to make the shareholders happy, even though if it completely kills the original thing that made FaZe popular. I briefly mentioned it earlier though, but there was something relatable about a bunch of friends living in a upper middle class house playing video games together all the time. And just making authentic content together. Now it's like, look at this $30 million mansion tour and everything just feels incredibly forced and fake because it is. It's not friends having fun anymore. And the thing I found interesting was in the vlog where FaZe went public, Adapt said this. Today's the day, FaZe is officially gonna be a publicly traded company. But what I'm really excited for is that going public is gonna give us the resources we need to get FaZe back to what it should be. You don't need that much money to make FaZe back to what it was. You just need to sit down and play video games with your friends and have fun. That's what it originally blew up off of. I feel like whoever's in charge of FaZe right now is saying, oh, hey, Mr. Beast is popping. Let's just make Mr. Beast videos, but worse. That's not going to work. That's dumb as sh
and whoever's in charge of the channel isn't obsessed with YouTube. But let's go back to the rain video. Who knows what the future holds, right? Who knows what the future holds? I just don't feel like this is a very um halal interaction. I don't feel like this is very transparent, safe, honest. I don't feel none of that. It's a lot of like reassurance of stuff that's never going to come true. And every single person knows that, but they still fall for it. I don't know why. It's the corruption in the background. It's people that get involved that aren't part, like they're not like us, bro. And that's the reason I'm fighting so hard is because I'm fighting for the future means. People that are like me, people that sacrifice their life, their childhood to do this and to build this. They deserve what comes, not the people that we're talking about is 10 years ago saying you guys are wasting your time then come in now and own most of the and give themselves what they want take advantage of us because we're dumb and young and don't know business like that that's what happens when you sell your baby the only reason they have control is because you guys sold them control now rain might have not agreed with the other investors coming in but he never had a majority ownership to my knowledge so i'm assuming the other people a part of phase agreed to having them swoop in but clearly there's just so much here that's unknown that i'm very interested in finding out about i feel like it should show more because i'm a big shareholder and i'm willing to give it all up for this because i care because i genuinely care about faith i care about what it did for the community i care about how it just opened up so many doors for a lot of people for different things i think it's beautiful and i want it to always mean that i don't want these people to come in and ruin the brand that i sacrificed my childhood for i don't want people to come in and just milk it and do collab after collab that do bad by the way but it's just like they think the logo has a fan base like the logo is a person everyone's like, oh my god i can't wait to see the logo no it, it the logo represents a collection of people that make people feel a certain way that's what the logo was see he understands that i don't know why whoever's in charge of the current content on phase does it but at this point i don't know if this video is gonna fix anything i feel like this is kind of just pouring gasoline on the fire they don't get this they're not from our world. They don't consume our content. They don't feel the same way we feel. They don't really care about our fans. They're numbers to them. Again, this is what happens when you bring on investors and especially when you go public. And they're still not transparent with like who has how much shares, how much it's worth. They'll tell you, you have this much, it's good. There's just so much that I wanna tell y'all, man. There's so much and I will go detail for detail. I'm gonna break it the down. From the second I joined phase, I'm gonna break down how everything went. Ask anybody also that knows me, ask them about my memory. Really ask them about my memory. They might try to discredit me now, but they know that I remember everything. I can't help it. Wait, so you just can't see the total value of your shares and then look at the market cap of the company and then figure out how much percentage you own of the company? But well, wouldn't they also know how much of the company that they've given up? Or are the other phase clan members keeping him out of the loop because of his previous substance issues? Because any shareholder would be scared of anyone like Rain being live while was incredibly intoxicated saying what he was saying on live in front of tens of thousands of people. I'm probably gonna get sued out of this. Things are probably gonna happen. Dude, I don't care what happens as long as the truth is out and people get what happened and people understand and start understanding how these industries work. I think that it's already happened to so many other industries and I don't want it to happen to this one. I think people like Aiden and Kai Sinat, they're still like giving hope. I love seeing it. Creators that are making a speed, of course, that are making so much money without any like agency around them by themselves. I love to see it. That is the beauty in a content creator. You don't need these old people to dictate what the f you do and take advantage of you just for money, man. You don't. And I've always hated, I've always been against it. I don't want other people's money. I don't want investors. I don't want none of that. Sh I don't because you can just the phase had enough of a community to make money on its own, but they just don't think the way we do because they're not creators like us. They don't actually live this life. They'll go to the warehouse and then after that, they'll go do their boomers. But it was you guys who sold it to them in the first place. I mean, so far, he hasn't really exposed too much other than the fact that he allegedly bought the Counter-Strike team, which is very interesting. And then I guess he's just airing out that the FaZe Clan people are very disconnected with who the audience is, which FaZe clearly doesn't want public. But for those who pay attention, they already realize that. They ain't watching videos. They're not paying attention to who's popping and why they're popping. They don't care. And you can, you can bring up the drug shit. I don't give a if anybody who knows me knows I'm sober as hell right now, they know I'm not on nothing. They know how my life's been. I don't care. Keep using that excuse to try to discredit me. Don't care. It is what it is, right? Let three months of my life define everything I've done over the last decade. It's fine. You can do you. Believe what you want to believe. I'm not here trying to convince you guys and make you guys be like, oh my God, I want you on my side. No, believe what you want to believe. If you think it's correct and you can understand that, well, it's just business and that's how business goes. Okay, cool. That's how you think and you're a piece of that's, that's, that's it to me. This video is just very all over the place. I can tell the dude's super passionate about it and emotional, but I'm not sure if that's helping him too much. It would be very interesting to just sit down and talk to Rain. If I could have a normal conversation with the Island Boys, I could have a very normal conversation with Rain. Because clearly there's a lot that we haven't been told here. And I mean, he's a YouTube goat. I mean, when he was in his prime, he was simply outworking every other FaZe Clan member, maybe except Ro. It was really sad to see him go off the deep end, but if he's being honest now by saying that he's pulled 
hold his life together. Good for him. Hopefully he just doesn't get his brain sued out of him for all this. It'll be interesting to see if he drops more videos about his FaZe Clan experience because he's definitely leading on to the fact that there's a lot more to the story. So yeah, you know, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't give y'all can turn on me. Y'all can do what y'all want to do. I'm fighting for you still. That's what you don't get. Even while y'all are turning on me, I'm still fighting for y'all. You don't get it. That's what you don't get. Because this all started when I asked for more for y'all. I was trying to get y'all more. And then they realized, oh, he's trying to cause a problem. He's not just complying. And then they start with me. And then for, and then it's like, you don't even stand up for me. I was standing up for y'all. And nobody stands up for me. Y'all, for real. I don't with none of y'all. And if you feel like the shoe fits right now, wear it, bitch. Yeah, that's an odd way to conclude the video. <laughs> FaZe has been struggling for a while now, and it's really odd to see that some of the original members are now turning on FaZe. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm just kind of sad this happened to FaZe, because FaZe was like an amazing cash cow, it seemed. But instead, they just wanted to rapidly scale, and they took on a bunch of investors who just wanted to squeeze every little bit of profit out of it, even though if it sacrificed what made FaZe, FaZe Clan. Why they haven't gone back to gaming on the main channel is beyond me. But sadly, it seems like this is just one of those cases where they had something great and then they got lost in the sauce. And thank you guys for tolerating my low energy in this video. Got a newborn. He's currently going through a regression. So I'm just uh, working and sleeping where I can. It's currently what? 526 in the morning. Fun. So I think I'm going to go try to get like 30 minutes of sleep before he wakes up again. I'll see you guys in the next video.